I'm going to show you how to build a digital TV antenna with at least a 45 mile range in under five minutes and for less than three dollars using materials laying around the house. The only expense is the transformer which you can buy on eBay for as little as a buck fifty. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of cardboard. I'm using the part of a pizza box. Also aluminum foil. Heavy duty is easier to work with and less likely to tear, by the way. A glue stick. Elmer's glue is okay, but it's messier. And the handyman's best friend and favorite tool, duct tape. You know this stuff is good when you can tape a person to the wall with it. A couple of push pins. And the cap from a water bottle. Finally, the transformer to connect the coax cable from the TV to the antenna. And we are assuming you already have a coax cable. Tear off two sheets of foil, approximately six inches wide. Use the glue stick to apply some glue to the cardboard and lay one of the sheets on the glue. Make sure you leave a couple of inches of space between the bottom of the aluminum sheet and the bottom of the cardboard. You're going to need this room to attach the transformer later. Do the same with the second sheet and make sure the aluminum sheets do not touch each other. You can use the liquid glue if you want, but it's messier and it takes longer to dry whereas the glue stick works right away and is not messy. Check for any spots where the foil isn't attached to the cardboard and add some glue under those spots. The transformer has two wires sticking out from it. You're going to attach one wire to each aluminum sheet using a small piece of duct tape. Make sure the yoke of the transformer is over the cardboard. You can use another piece of tape to tape the transformer to the cardboard, but it isn't necessary since you'll be using a push pin to attach the transformer to the cardboard. Once you have the pin attached, and it takes some effort to get it through the yoke. Turn the antenna over and push the bottle cap onto the pin. This serves two purposes. One, if you hung this up on the wall without the pin, the weight of the coax cable would eventually pull the transformer wires away from the aluminum foil. Using a push pin will hold the transformer in place. The cap will also prevent the pin from scratching the wall. And that's it. Now you are ready to hang it on the wall, attach it to your TV using the coax cable, and programming your channels. 
While this isn't the prettiest antenna you'll ever see, it does work. Uh, all you have to do is put it on the wall behind your TV. No one will see it. Go to part two to see how to use your $3 antenna to pick up as many channels as any $40 antenna. We will also give you some tips and tricks that will make your antenna work at its best. And we'll also tell you how some antenna makers and installers lie to you to get you to spend more money on stuff you don't need because they make it sound like you need it.